All right, in this video, we're going to be upgrading a Hackintosh that already has Mavericks. We're already running Mavericks, and we're going to preserve that computer and just upgrade it to Yosemite. So that's what I'm going to quickly show you how to do here. Here's the uh, basic steps. We're going to go through them one by one. The first step is to boot into OS X Mavericks. Then you're going to remove some files. Then we're going to create a bootable USB uh, with Unibeast 5. And then we're going to boot into that uh, drive, install Yosemite, and reboot from the USB, run MultiBeast 7, set up any uh, special audio network drivers, and then finally boot into Yosemite. Uh, that's a quick overview. I'm going to go through each one of those steps now. And uh, the first thing you want to do with your computer that's already on Mavericks is just visit the App Store and download the free download for Yosemite. It's probably gonna be the top one of the App Store there. But uh, once you do that, you'll see uh, an option that looks like this to download. Let's see if you can see that here. Down there in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, and that's your install Yosemite package. That's going to take a little bit of time because it is a big, uh, big file. So that's the first thing you want to do. After you've got that ready, it's time to set up. Well, actually, then it's time to uh, verify that you don't have any of those files in place that you might need to remove for this upgrade. So let's look back at those files. This first file is the in the extra folders, modules, and then it's file in VRAM dot dylib so uh, a quick and easy way to check out if you've got that file is to go to your finder and in the top menu here there is an option that says go and then if you look all the way down there you'll see it says go to folder if you just click on that option there go to folder and then type in forward slash extra and that's going to get you to the extra folder and then you'll see modules there and you just want to verify that you don't have one called file nvram.dylb uh, and if so you want to remove it and I'll have all these directions on the um, hackintoshhowto.com site I don't have that file so I don't need to remove it uh, we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to our system library Okay, and from here, go to library folder, extensions, and you want to make sure you don't have one called generic USB, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I don't see anything called generic USB X H C I dot K-E-X-T. So I don't need to remove that. Good. All right. Last one to check is extra org.chameleon boot. So let's go back to our extra folder. Okay. I do have this file. So let's pull that up by double clicking on it. All right, so the key things to be looking here for here are um, we want to remove this key kernel and the string mock underscore kernel, if you have those. When you try to open it, it's probably going to try to open this file with Xcode, but um, I just opened it with the text editor, and you can, in fact, see that I do have those items in the plist file here so I'm going to just delete that and hit save done close out of it I need to create a bootable USB with Unibeast 5 so here's Unibeast 5 and of course there will be a link directly to this Tony Mac uh, download from our website hackintoshhowto.com so you're gonna to want to come here and download this file and also you'll need a USB drive 
with plenty of space to load this file onto. All right, so now that I've got that file downloaded, it is time to create a bootable drive from my USB disk. So the first thing I want to do is go to Utilities and then Disk Utility and then click on your bootable drive. We're going to create a partition, so you can click on the partition option. We're going to create one partition and I'm going to call this USB. So after naming it USB, I'm going to click on Options and set this as a master boot record. And the format is Mac OS Extended Journal. Okay, at this point I'm ready to apply this partition. All right, now that the uh, USB has been partitioned and formatted, it is time to run UnityBeast that I have previously downloaded. So you can simply open up that package and continue through the installation process. When it's asking for the destination, you're going to choose the USB and then, of course, for the purposes of this video, we're working with Yosemite. Uh, in this case, I'm not working with legacy support or laptop support, so I'm going to continue through that. And once you enter your password, it's going to go ahead and uh, run through the mounting volumes to set that USB drive as a bootable disk. All right, so that may take a little bit of time, but be patient and eventually you will get this install succeeded message. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is go back to the downloads for the Tony Mac site and get the MultiBeast 7. You'll need this uh, very soon. So you want to go ahead and download that. And just for convenience, you'll, you can save that onto your USB drive. All right, so at this point, we've got our bootable USB ready to go with UniBeast 5. It also has MultiBeast 7 saved to it. So we're on step six here where we boot from the USB and install OS X Yosemite over the existing Mavericks installation. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the computer. With uh, the USB ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the computer and when you get to this stage you can see that I can get to the boot menu by pressing F12. Okay, so on F12 I have the option to select a boot device and I'm going to choose the USB drive. There we go. So now this time, you can use your arrows left and right, and I'm going to highlight the USB option, the one with the Yosemite icon, and that is going to bring up the installation package for Yosemite. At this point, we start the installation process. I'm going to choose English and just go through the inst installation process as usual. Okay, so at this point I've gone through the typical setting up your computer phase of logging in for the first time. Uh, but again, right now I'm running off of the USB sticks. So now what I need to do is reboot the computer and this time uh, choose the home disk rather than booting from the uh, USB drive so that we can run the multi-beast and never have to deal with the USB drive in the future. Okay, so here we are again, and this time we're going to highlight the home option. So now what we need to do is navigate to uh, the USB and run MultiBeast in order to finalize this process. All right.
right? So after extracting that directory there, you'll see that we have the little multi-beast application. And I'm going to run the quick start. For the quick start menu, I've chosen the easy beast option. And now I'm going to look at the current configuration and install. Go through the installation process. And then ultimately get the green check and the installation has succeeded. So at this point I can eject the USB drive and I should be able to boot right into my upgraded Yosemite Hackintosh. And if all goes well, we should see it kick over and boot. So far so good. That's uh, looking good. That was the complete process and I've successfully booted into Yosemite now uh, without the USB drive and so my Hackintosh is up to date. So be sure to uh, check out this and more videos. You can get in touch at HackintoshHowTo.com. Thanks for watching.